Hey guys, Jeff here with Corsair, and today we're doing a special build for our friends over at ArenaNet, who you might know as the makers of Guild Wars 2. They've got a new expansion coming out called Heart of Thorns, and to celebrate that launch, we're going to be putting this system together and giving it to them so they can give it to one of their lucky fans. If you'd like a chance to win, make sure to check out the link in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get this thing put together. So the first thing I always like to do is get the CPU installed into the motherboard before we get anything else put into the case. So we have plenty of room to work. The motherboard we're using is a Gigabyte GA-Z97X Gaming GT. It's a really nice motherboard we have here. And we've got an i7-4790K uh, from Intel for the CPU. So as always, make sure you find the arrow on the corner of the CPU and then find the matching arrow on the socket, which I can see right here. So we know we have it lined up correctly. Drop it in. And lock it right into place. So we've got our CPU installed in the motherboard. It's time to get the motherboard in our Carbide Series Air 540 case. But before we do that, always make sure you pop in the rear IO shield. So with the motherboard in place, the next thing I usually like to do is get the power supply installed. So we're using an RM750i fully modular power supply. And in the Air 540, you've got two compartments and the power supply will be installed in the rear compartment here. So now with the power supply locked into place, the next thing I usually like to do is run all of our front I.O. panel cables through the chassis and get those plugged into the motherboard. And while we're at it, we'll plug in some of our power supply cables as well. So now that I've plugged in all of our front I.O. panel cables and as well as our power cables for the motherboard, uh, the next thing I like to do is get the CPU cooler installed. And in this case, we're gonna be installing our H100i GTX right on top. So in order to do that, we just have to remove the top panel here, which comes right out after you remove the thumb screws. And while I'm at it, we'll take the front off because eventually we're gonna replace the fans there with some custom fans. First step in installing the cooler is to install the back plate here. And you can see you have adjustable corners so the bracket will fit on any modern CPU socket. Now that the back plate is installed, next thing to do is get our fans mounted to the radiator. And actually, instead of using the stock fans that come with our H100i GTX, we've got some of our SP120 green LED fans. So the last step in installing the cooler is to get the pump mounted. And you'll notice that since it's brand new, it's got thermal interface material already pre-applied so you don't have to use any extra. All right, so the cooler is fully installed. Next thing we're gonna do is replace all the rest of the stock cooling fans in the case with some of our nice green LED fans. All right, we're almost done with the build here. We've got three more components to install, and you'll see we've got 16 gigabytes of 2133 Vengeance Pro memory. We've got one of our Neutron XT 240 gigabyte SSDs, and we also have a GTX 970. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Now this case actually lets you install two and a half inch drives on the rear cage, but I think we're gonna opt for mounting it in the front here in the hot swap drive bay so we can show off the SSD. So since we're doing that, we'll just mount it to the bracket here. Thank you. 
All right, everything's hooked up and plugged in. Only thing left to do is power it on. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. All right, guys, the system is built, it's powered on, it's ready to be shipped over to our friends over at ArenaNet. If you'd like your chance to win this very system, don't forget to check the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.